Hello everyone, my name is Artem Yosin and I will be presenting Time Series Mix, or TS Mix, which is Time Series Data Augmentation by Mixing Sources. Data augmentation is a common strategy for improving the generalization ability of neural networks. For example, data augmentation for images is straightforward, with simple techniques such as cropping, flipping, and color augmentations. However, data augmentation in time series is more challenging because an individual data point is part of a sequence which is more difficult to augment realistically. In this paper, we propose and evaluate the idea that an individual time series can be considered as an independent and identically distributed sample from a wider set of time series. We evaluate this idea through TS mix, which is a simple method to combine multiple univariate time series to increase training dataset size and thereby improve model generalization. This approach is especially relevant to cases with related time series. In particular, TS mix is motivated by the time series produced by function as a service platforms. Here, the function invocation counts over time tend to be periodic and exhibit similar patterns overall, as shown in the example plots here. So therefore, it is possible to produce qualitatively similar looking pseudo functions simply by averaging two or more of such genuine time series. And this also makes sense purely from a cloud perspective, since functions may invoke other functions. The algorithm of TS mix is straightforward. N univariate time series are combined by averaging their standardized versions. The final mixed version is then unnormalized by the average of incoming means and standard deviations to ensure scale invariance with respect to the input series. So here we have two examples of TS mix being applied to two different functions to produce a new pseudo function. Note how the periodicity is preserved, but there are clearly some new patterns in the result. To evaluate TS mix, we use the top 12 functions from the Azure 2019 dataset, as shown in the plots here. So we evaluated three models, among which are the state of the art N hits and N beats models, as well as linear regression. We run a series of experiments where we mix two, three, four, and six functions and evaluate performance on the original functions. These figures show the RMSE, MAE, and MAPE results for the baseline, that is no mixing, as well as various mix combinations on the x-axis. TS mix results on N beats show superior performance for almost all mix combinations with a tendency for better RMSE when including more mixes. N hits benefits less from TS mix, but still shows superior performance to the baseline for many mix combinations. That said, applying TS mix to train forecasting models is simple and has potential in scarce data regimes. TS mix even improved the performance of linear regression, even though this model is not subject to the same overfitting characteristics as large neural networks. So in conclusion, we presented TS mix which is a new data augmentation technique for training global time series forecasters. TS mix works by averaging two or more standardized, that is zero mean and unit standard deviation, time series to create pseudo time series. These pseudo time series are then included in additional training data for global time series forecasting models. In the function as a service domain, function request data may only be available for a short duration, for example, just 14 days in the Azure 2019 cloud data set. Even though we may have many time series, training models without data augmentation may cause overfitting, um, which is obviously an issue. So we showed that TS mix can improve test performance in these cases. We believe this is because the augmented pseudo functions present a realistic and challenging problem for the global models to solve while being sufficiently different from the original functions to reduce overfitting. So mixing different time series can be explored further in many ways. So for example, an informed version of time series mix could use mutual information or cosine similarity as a metric to combine dissimilar functions instead of selecting randomly. Another option is to decompose multiple time series into components, apply TS mix separately, and then recombine them. And these are just some of the options that we foresee to be promising. And with that, I would like to thank you all very much for your attention and hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.